Hey, this is Saif and I made these 15 pixel art animations with the tool as a pride. Today we will go through the full workflow of the double jump animation and we'll also tell you now a little bit about the game and show you some concept and key art made by the great Sanguine or Alex Frasca. If you want to directly skip the video to the animation workflow, just jump to the displayed time counter here. The game is meant to be a little duelist like Towerfall, Iskenshin or Nitok, where one player fights another. It's played on one console or one device and should remind ourselves a little bit of the good old days where we used to play blobby volley on LAN parties back then. The style is simple and we chose a really low resolution, which means 480 by 270 pixels. It's easy scalable to full HD and the most important thing it should run on every toaster. The character will be only about 26 pixel high and is really close to Stickman. The very first concept was in 2D and it was meant to animate these in 2D. Then I moved on to shapes and wanted to animate shapes more like a puppet. Then I moved to more complex pixel art, but in the end I thought it would be way easier to work with a as small as possible character. So for the character itself, let's talk about the design process here. I had a like warrior girl in mind, more like an android that has some helping drones that have like a landing station on the back of her shoulders where drone slots are. The idea was to let the androids be awakened by an AI in an underground bunker and they fight each other for the right to recolonize destroyed earth in a post-apocalyptic setting. They basically fight for an egg that inhabits two embryos, one male and one female, so like Adam and Eve if you want to. The idea was to let them use the drones for throwing knives but they also can be used for defensive or movement mechanics. So the player has to think about how many dr active drones he currently has and how to use them in the battle. Or in other words, you can decide, choose a drone for a movement mechanic, and then it's used and has to be reloaded or you throw it as a knife, but then it's away and you have to pick it up again. So that's for the concept. We hope with the help of this video, the ultimate controller for 2D platformer and the Godot engine, we may be able to accomplish this. We also thought it would be cool to go more for a skating like movement, but we will see what time brings here. Not to the creation of the double jump animation, I really wanted to have the signature pose of the character like in at least one animation. On YouTube I found this cool channel, said the yogi, there was a trampoline jump and this pose was exactly what I looked for. So yeah, I took it as reference and I started with the first frame. The first frame is getting height, so the mass has to be like stretched up. I also made the character look sidewards and I choose this little resolution to a stickman because it's way easier. You just have to basically animate the motion and not so much detail. If you turn on this little rectangle here, you can see the frame before, which really helps animating in Azapride. You have to loop the few frames over and over to get it right and to get a sense of the right motion. The hard thing when working especially with super small resolutions are the diagonals because you're working in cubes and the head is like turning around. So here I decided to let the character directly look down and hoping it was okay to still get the idea of the head basically making a circle in the movement. Now on frames five to six it's time to move the legs up a little bit and I think especially here I had a little problem with 
the space because the character now is going to stretch to full length. Yeah, I tried to remove stuff, but it wasn't enough space. So I was struggling, I was erasing a lot, but I couldn't make it really work. Yeah, so that was a huge back and forth, trying and failing. And in the end, I wasn't really happy with this situation. But why not do the obvious? So I just changed the sprite size from 32 by 32 to 40 by 40. And then the problem was solved. So I could concentrate on the legs and had more space and don't have to worry anymore. And now we're getting closer to the pose of the character sheet where she's like forming this split position and looking up before turning around. This was quite tricky because I all the time have to think of it like mirrored because the reference is horizontal mirrored. And yeah, a lot of looking back at what I've already done and looking if it fits together. And after she reached that pose, it was time to like turn around and fall. And then I had to decide which frames I, I use because you just, just need 9 to 10 or, or 11 frames to give the illusion of, of fluent movement. So yeah, I decided to make the torso diagonal mirrored directly so she's after the pose immediately falling and turning around a lot and by a big angle because i want to like underline the pose of the character sheet and not so much the falling she had to turn around for a certain amount of angle because then she is like going we're moving on to the falling state and if you compare it here to the jump animation uh, i want it to kind of fit together when she falls yeah just fine adjustments here and there it really helps to make each limb on a separate layer and do a color separation that helps for orientation so here's the final result i think it's really close to the character sheet and cool I added another animation which is like a drone idol where she's playing with the drone. I think it's also cool and underlining her character. If you're interested in these animations, go and grab them on my Patreon if you want to. Of course, this is all just playing around with ideas. I hopefully find time to do the prototype in Godot soon. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you feel comfortable with that and leave a like and see you soon. Bye bye.